Section 1. The Power of a Strong Start Have you ever clicked on a YouTube video only to find yourself bored within the first few seconds? It's a common experience, we've all been there. A weak introduction can make us lose interest fast. It's like a book with a dull first chapter. A strong introduction, however, can hook us and keep us engaged. It's the difference between staying and leaving. Why are introductions so important? They set the stage for everything that follows. They are the gateway to your content. A well-crafted introduction grabs your audience's attention, establishes the purpose of your content, and makes them eager to learn more. It's your first impression. It's like a warm invitation into your world, promising a journey of discovery. It builds a connection. So, how do you write introductions that captivate your audience? What elements make them effective? Let's explore different types of introductions and learn how to make them shine. From storytelling to posing questions, there are many techniques. From YouTube videos to book chapters, each form of content requires a unique approach to engage viewers or readers effectively. Let's dive in and discover the secrets. The Section 2. Grabbing Attention YouTube Intros Imagine this. You're scrolling through YouTube and a video catches your eye. The first few seconds are crucial. Will you keep watching or move on? A captivating YouTube intro can make all the difference. How do you create an intro that hooks viewers from the start? Start with a bang. Use a surprising fact, a thought-provoking question, or a visually stunning clip to grab their attention. Keep it concise and attention-grabbing. Remember, you have mere seconds to convince viewers to stick around. Make those seconds count. In the next section, we'll delve into crafting compelling introductions for chapter openings. Section 3. Setting the Stage Chapter Introductions A new chapter is like a fresh start. It's an opportunity to draw your reader deeper into your story or argument. But how do you create an introduction that seamlessly transitions from the previous chapter while setting the stage for what's to come? Start by recapping the key points from the previous chapter. This helps refresh your reader's memory and provides context. Then, introduce the main theme or focus of the new chapter. Create a smooth bridge between the two, ensuring a logical flow of ideas. A well-structured chapter introduction guides your reader, ensuring they don't feel lost. Up next, we'll explore how to write compelling essay introductions that capture your reader's interest. Section four, engaging your reader. Essay Introductions Essays require a different approach. You need to present a clear argument and engage your reader from the outset. But how do you craft an introduction that effectively introduces your topic and entices your reader to delve deeper? Begin by providing some background information on your essay topic. This sets the context and helps your reader understand the relevance of your argument. Then, present your thesis statement, which is the central argument you'll be exploring throughout your essay. A strong essay introduction is clear, concise, and engaging. It sets the tone for a thoughtful and well-argued piece of writing. In the next section, we'll shift our focus to report introductions, which require a more formal and objective tone. Section 5. Presenting your findings. Report introductions. Reports often present research findings or analysis on a specific topic. Clarity and conciseness are paramount. But how do you create an introduction that effectively introduces your report's purpose and scope without overwhelming your reader? Start by stating the objective of your report. What are you trying to achieve? Then briefly outline the methods you use to gather your data or conduct your analysis. Finally, provide a brief overview of the key findings or conclusions you'll be presenting. A well-structured report introduction provides a roadmap for your reader, allowing them to easily navigate your findings. Now that we've covered the basics of different introduction types, let's delve into the key elements that make any introduction captivating. Section 6. The Hook Capturing Interest Imagine your introduction as a fishing line cast into a lake, waiting to catch the attention of your audience. The hook is what grabs the fish's attention, making it impossible for them to resist. Similarly, a strong hook in your introduction is what captures your reader's interest, drawing them into your narrative. But how do you create a hook that's both relevant to your topic and intriguing enough to keep them reading? This is the challenge every writer faces. You can start with a provocative question, a surprising statistic, a relevant anecdote, 
or even a shocking fact that they might not have known. Or you could make a bold statement that challenges their preconceptions. The key is to choose something that will pique your reader's curiosity and make them want to learn more, keeping them hooked from the very beginning. Think about your target audience and what would resonate with them. What are their interests, their concerns, their desires? A strong hook is like a good first impression. It sets the stage for everything that follows. It sets the tone for the rest of your writing and makes your reader eager to see what you have to say, ensuring they stay engaged. Next, we'll explore how to build context and provide background information to further engage your reader, making your writing even more compelling. Section 7. Building Context – Background Information Once you've hooked your reader, you need to provide some context to keep them engaged and informed. This means giving them the background information they need to understand the rest of your writing, setting the stage for your main points. But how much information is enough to provide a solid foundation without overwhelming them? And how do you present it in a way that's both informative and engaging, ensuring they stay interested? The amount of background information you need will depend on your topic and your audience's familiarity with it. If you're writing for a specialized audience, you can assume they already have some knowledge of the subject, allowing you to dive deeper. However, if you're writing for a general audience, you'll need to provide more context to ensure everyone is on the same page. When presenting background information, it's important to be clear, concise, and to the point, avoiding unnecessary jargon. Avoid overwhelming your reader with too much detail, which can lead to confusion and disengagement. Instead, focus on providing the essential information they need to understand your main points, making your writing more effective and impactful. Section 8. A clear path, stating your purpose. After setting the stage with background information, it's crucial to clearly state the purpose of your writing. This is where you tell your reader what you're going to discuss and why it's important. But how do you articulate your purpose in a way that's both informative and engaging? Start by using a clear and concise thesis statement that encapsulates the main argument or point you'll be making. This statement should be specific and focused, giving your reader a clear understanding of what to expect. Avoid vague language or overly broad statements. Think of your purpose statement as a roadmap for your reader, guiding them through the rest of your writing. A well-defined purpose keeps your writing focused and ensures that you're addressing the key points effectively. Section 9. A glimpse ahead. Previewing main points. Now that you've stated your purpose, it's time to give your reader a sneak peek into the main points you'll be covering. This helps them understand the structure of your writing and prepares them for the information to come. But how do you preview your main points without giving too much away? Briefly mention each main point or argument you'll be discussing, highlighting their significance to your overall purpose. You can use bullet points, numbered lists, or even a short paragraph to present these points in a clear and concise manner. Previewing your main points is like giving your reader a table of contents for your writing. It creates anticipation and helps them follow your line of reasoning more effectively. Section 10 Smooth Transitions Connecting the Dots Transitions play a vital role in any piece of writing, especially in introductions. They act as bridges connecting different ideas and ensuring a smooth flow of thought. But how do you create transitions that feel natural and seamless? Use transition words or phrases to link your hook, background information, purpose statement, and preview of main points. Words like however, therefore, in addition, and for example, can help you create logical connections between sentences and paragraphs. Effective transitions guide your reader through your writing, preventing them from feeling lost or confused. They create a sense of coherence and make your writing more enjoyable to read. Section 11. Practice makes perfect your turn to shine. Congratulations. You've learned the essential elements of crafting captivating introductions for various types of writing. Now it's your turn to put these skills into practice. Remember, the key is to engage your audience, provide context, and clearly state your purpose. Don't be afraid to experiment with different hooks, background information, and ways to preview your main points. The more you practice, the more confident you'll become in your ability to write introductions that grab your reader's attention and make them eager to read more. 
so go ahead and start crafting those introductions, and don't forget to have fun with it. After all, writing should be an enjoyable experience both for you and your reader. Now, let's see what you can do.